Good morning, good afternoon and good evening wherever you are. Today we have a very special person, Karthike Polishetti. He is All India Rank 6 in the 2022 JE Advanced. And today we are going to have a very good discussion with him about his journey and what he's doing now. So, Karthike, could you describe yourself? This is Karthike Polishetti who secured All India Rank 6 in JE Advanced 2022. Uh, and my hobbies are, I play various kind of sports. I play volleyball, uh, football, cricket and squash. And I watch a lot of movies after JE preparation. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so which IIT did you choose? IIT Chennai. Oh, wow. So, one of the top rankers, very few of the top rankers who generally go to IIT Bombay. But I think so, you are one of the few who actually went to IIT Chennai. Any specific reason for that? Like. Uh, considering the academic wise, IIT Chennai is in far better position than IIT Bombay. Okay, that's a, that's uh, a special one. And for research kind also, IIT Chennai is in a better position. Oh, okay. So, um, when did you decide you want to prepare for IIT or you want to land up in IIT? In my 8th eighth standard. 8th eighth standard, oh, okay. So, I myself am an IIT and an IIT, so I decided somewhere around uh, in class 11th which is a change and this is like a change over the years. I mean, I'm, obviously I'm much, much senior to you in, in the IIT fraternity, but uh, now I think so people really uh, prepare themselves very early. So, so what was your routine like and what, what were the indications that you had that, okay, you know, you really want to pursue science and engineering going forward? Uh, in my age standard, I saw a few problems from Olympiads and uh, okay. I just had a look at them and the solutions attracted me more to take up the subjects of maths, physics and chemistry. Oh, okay. Nice. So, how did your coaching help you as such, you know, in your preparation? It's like my coaching always, there are enough assignments and DBBs to solve. So, it's very helpful that we never, like, if you want to do something, it's like I don't have anything to do. It's not like that. We always had something to do. So it always keep motivated and our teachers also helped me a lot in my doubts. And this. Okay. So your hunger for solving the questions was always there and you always had material. Oh, okay. I finished this, but now what next? Yes. So this, that what next feeling was never there. Oh, well, that's interesting. That's really good of, uh, you know, uh, the institute. So. What was your approach in tackling difficult questions? Because this is something that students generally struggle with. They learn a lot, but then when they try to comprehend and really relate to the difficult questions, the complexity gets to them and they're not able to solve that. So any, anything that you would like to share? A difficult, for solving difficult questions, first of all, we need a lot of practice. And then we should carefully analyze the question. Most of the difficult question will contain a very small thing. And we have to identify it. That identification comes from a lot of practice. Okay, so that's where you know the practice, uh, and then practice requires persistence. Also, you just have to stick to, you know, just working out. So, oh, that one very interesting question that the students always struggle with is time management. So, how did you manage your time? Mm -hmm. During exam, time management plays very important role. It's like. If you start attempting questions in the order 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, it would be very difficult. Maybe the first question is the toughest of the paper and you will be sticking it there. So, it should be like, you should see the questions like, if you think that I can solve this question immediately, then we have to finish those questions first and few questions will be there like, if I try, I will get them, then you have to do those and then at last, uh, at the first look, there are few questions like, it's very hard, we have to keep them for last. And you have to be patient and keep calm yourself. Any special order that you followed, like solving, say, chemistry first or maths first, or say, any, any special thing that you would even suggest as, as, as you know, students who are aspiring to get into IIT? Usually, students fix their mind that I am strong in this subject, so I will do this subject first. But I never had that kind of thing. I always look at all the three subjects, I will give a bird eye view and then. It's like I will see uh, today which paper is easier, I feel, at the first look. I will attempt first, I will do all the easy questions, then all the easy questions in the next subject, and then the next subject. Interesting. So, 
this is about art of giving an exam. So that's time management there. Okay. But what about generally, you know, our students have a problem. They think that they're going to revise something, but they end up relearning that. There's a very important debate that goes on oh, whether revision is important. Yes, it is important, but students end up revising, not revising rather, I should correct myself, not revising, rather relearning. So any tips that or any parameters that you made sure that while learning, I have to make sure of this, that these certain yardsticks happen. Okay. While learning for the first time, I suggest everyone to prepare a short notes, like few questions will be there, having a very different solution. We have to make note of them. So while revising, you just get, you can just revise your short notes. No need to revise the class notes, like it will be containing a lot of material. So once you have completed learning, there will be like, uh, some of the things in class notes are obvious. So preparing a short notes is very, very important and it helps in long term. And how do you deal with pressure and stress with all these uh, things going on and so much calculations and complexity? How do you deal with that? Like I never had uh, pressure or stress because I always believed in myself. And, uh, if you are working hard, like you will pay off. Like, and I always followed what my teachers or gurus said and it always helped me not to have any pressure or stress. Okay, that's good. What are your future plans? Uh, currently, I am in computer science branch at IIT Madras. Once I completed my B.Tech, I want to take up higher studies and do research. Do research, oh, okay. And that was where you started, my inclination towards research is important. And that's why you chose IIT uh, Madras as such. So when we have been talking about so much about, uh, you know, IIT Chennai, how's life in IIT Chennai? I mean, I, let's, let's give the flavor, all the students a flavor of how the life in IIT is, is as such. It's really good. During preparation of JIT, we'll be more focused on math, physics and chemistry. And we won't be exploring other things. But once we get into an IIT, there are a lot more things to explore, like different clubs going on, different co-curricular activities going on, different sports. And, uh, you will be having a lot of freedom so, can, so that you can explore the city and you can hang out with friends and you all will get new experiences. So there is hope at the end of the tunnel. After studying so much for cracking IIT, there is, there is hope that you, know, you can hang out with your friends. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> Any quick tips for students aspiring for JE Advanced 2023? Um, be consistent and like you be hardworking and be sincere to yourself. Like whether you are putting the effort that if you, for suppose you want to get into IIT bomb, are you putting that effort to yourself? You answer yourself and be consistent and have a consistent practice. Okay. With this, we come to the conclusion. Thank you, Karthikeya. It was lovely interacting with you. It's always a pleasure meeting you. And uh, this is the second time I'm meeting him, but it's always a pleasure. And good luck for your future. Thank you. Thanks a lot.